As the world held its collective breath 50 years ago. Okay, engine stop. We copy it down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. A lunar module with computing power less than today's smartphones landed two men on the moon. But what really guided the Apollo 11 mission on July 20th, 1969, were the hundreds of dedicated NASA staff in Houston's mission control. I look at it as a leadership laboratory where a bunch of young people come in and it's pass fail. Are they going to become leaders? Yes or no. Gene Kranz was their leader. It was now uh, upon my team and the crew. Nobody else in the world existed. Not even all the boss in the back row or all the people in the living room. Three shifts over 24 hours, dozens of people each shift. Kranz, one of the flight directors, made sure they guided astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong every step of the way. I hear these words, uh, Houston Tranquility Base here, the Eagles landed. And this room, was almost strange at that time because the viewing room were celebrating, they're cheering, they're stomping. But we got to maintain control and the vision and what's happened to that spacecraft. Grant sat down with the Associated Press reliving those moments in a newly refurbished mission control at Johnson Space Center. When I, uh, I walked into the viewing room before and I saw this entire room lit up, it was almost like uh, we're between shifts and there's a shift change or everybody's out for restroom breaks. So this room is now empty and it's going to be soon be filled. With technology from the 1960s, the room is being restored to commemorate a seminal moment in American history. Breathtaking in a lot of ways. It brought former flight activity officer Spencer Gardner back in time. Because I remember seeing it uh, before the restoration started and it looked like neglect. The $5 million project, almost all from donations, is getting museum quality treatment. Even, even the, the carpeting and the, the wallpaper that was recreated, you know, the, they worked with us to make those things happen. They're paying attention to every detail, big and small. And we, one more thing interesting, there was a telephone behind here. Okay. Upon completion, tourists will be able to visit in commemoration of Apollo 11's 50th anniversary. Apollo 11 was the most difficult because we had to be perfect on the spot. We had whatever calls we made. John Munn Associated Press. Had to be right. Houston.